Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to show you how you can create a simple portfolio website on card.co. As it says right here, card allows you to make simple, free, fully responsive one page sites for pretty much anything. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So let's get right into it. We start out by coming here to choose a starting point. And on this page, we choose a blank canvas. There we go, there's our clear card canvas. On the top right here, we have our options. We can add an element, undo, redo, preview, toggle between mobile and desktop view, and a publish button. Now for the purposes of our tutorial here today, we're gonna to be trying to emulate this card design, and we're gonna adapt it and make a no code school portfolio. So let's get started. So as you can see in our reference here, the background has been changed to an image. So let's go in and add that really quickly. Let's choose our background, make it an image and upload it. I have a similar background saved here. So let's add that into the canvas. And there we go. There's our background. We can take this text and delete it. We don't need the default text. Now what I'm going to be doing is adding these elements one by one and we'll work on the design afterwards. So our first element here is a profile picture or a display picture. So let's add that in real quick. We come up here and press the plus icon and choose image. And let's upload an image. Let's choose this profile picture right here. And accept. We can customize it later on. Next, what we need is two pieces of text. So let's add that real quick. We come up here, press the plus icon, press text. And we have a text there. Let's actually make that weighty just to signify what it is for now. And let's add another piece of text for our describing line. And let's make that less weight. Next up in our reference, we have two buttons here. So let's add that onto our canvas. Buttons and add, we can add two buttons right there. And we can customize what they do later on. So we have our first few elements here. Next is our defining paragraph. So for this, we can just add a text element. Let's go up here, press text. It's just a normal text element. And next we have a few icons. So to add icons, we come up here, choose icons, and just keep on adding how many ever you need. Add, add. There's four in our reference, so we'll keep four as well. And next up, we have two links. Now the way to add links to your card is to come up here and add our text first. Now there's a certain way in which you make your text into a hyperlink in card and is given right here. We put our link text in square brackets and the URL in normal brackets. So let's say we want this to be a link. We just put square brackets around it. And in normal brackets, let's say we want to go www.youtube.com. And that makes our text into a link. And we have two of those. So what we can do is just duplicate it. There we go, two links. And there we have it. All the elements that are here in the reference card have now been added to our canvas. And now we can start designing them and changing their appearance. So let's start with our profile picture here. We go up here to appearance and we can change the size of it. Let's make it smaller. The height, height can remain what it was. Position center makes sense. Shape, let's make it a circle. There we go. Now our text, our text says no code school. And let's make it slightly bigger and change the font to, let's say, Arimo. Arimo is not a bad font. Now let's change our tagline to say, educating the public. There we go. And we can change the size, make it slightly, slightly smaller. And there we have our tagline, educating the public. And now we can move on to our buttons here. Over here in our reference, we can see the buttons are made rectangular. Let's change our buttons to say something else. And we can change the URL to navigate to our channel here. There we go. And our other button, we can change it to, let's say, and we can make it navigate to our Twitter page. There we go. Now in appearance, we can change it so that it's an outline, just like our reference here. And we can give it an icon as well. Let's change the text color to black. And the width, uh, width and height all seem okay. Icon size and round the corners, of course. We can change the thickness of our boundaries. And the font, we can make it a remo like the rest of it. There we go. 
and we can change these icons to match what the text says so for this one we can choose a youtube icon just scroll down here youtube and for the next one we can change it to a twitter icon i believe so just scroll down twitter there we go okay so that's our buttons and next is our paragraph so i'll just type out a defining paragraph here okay so there's our paragraph we can change its appearance we can make it slightly bigger and the weight of it seems fine next is our icons here let's change this first icon here to a youtube one there we go and we can add a twitter one as well and for another one let's say yelp just adding a few random icons here to fill out the space and for the last one let's say a message button so we've set the icons here we can change the color and let's go to appearance here and in our reference we can see the icons have a similar style to the buttons on top so let's change it to reflect that we can make it an outline and the outline can be black and the shape is a circle and there we go that's similar to our reference here and next up we have these two links that we can change up the text of let's say this first link goes to our youtube channel again for now it just goes to youtube.com and our next text we can make it to our there we go that's how links work and we have two links just like that so our general structure is similar to our reference right here now all that's left to do is a little bit of resizing to make it similar let me just carry that out right now as you can see here are uh, these three elements are farther apart than they need to be so comparing with our reference this text can be slightly larger there we go and these two text here can be closer to each other so what we do for that is we can come up to our page settings and we can change the spacing here there we go and now we can see in our reference our text element has slightly more space below and above it so we can change that here click our text element and go to appearance and change up the margin size there we go similar to our text here and let's change the spacing of our links here as well and there we go we've created a page similar to our reference here so now what we can do is save and publish our website so let's come up here and let's make a title no code school a description let's say say and what we're doing is publishing it to a card.co url let's say no code school and see if it's available it's not available let's just add a one two three that is available so we click publish and there we go it's done our site is successfully published let's view it and there we have it our site has been published to a card.co url here our buttons take us to our youtube page and our twitter profile there we have it and our icons here i haven't assigned them but you can assign them to certain links and our links down here take us to youtube and twitter so that's how you can easily create a simple portfolio website on card.co we hope you've learned something from this video and if you have any other no code tools that you would like us to cover please leave them down in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye